Welcome my friend to live with freedom forever. In this chapter we'll see how to download the Pop SQL. And this is an editor software. So for that reason we will go to the site for the Pop SQL.io. And from there we'll download the software. Already um, I have downloaded as on my computer. So we just um, install the software. So after entering the email, we'll again open the downloaded software for us. And then we need to enter, configure some data there. So from your start menu, just click on the pop SQL and then uh, box will come to configure some files. So here you need to put your nickname. I'm, I'm giving the nickname like freedom. And then type what type of database you are using. I am using the MySQL. Then hostname. The host name is uh, localhost because it's from my computer. And the port, what is where the port is there, will remain the port same. And the database, you need to write the database name. We have what the database we already created. You see, here the database is name is freedom. So I just put the freedom there. And username is root. And when we created the database, that time I put the password. That's like password. And here you can configure. Here I choose to keep it private for my computer. So I'm clicking no, just to keep it private. I put the connect, and you can see is already connected so in this uh, script your the script pad you the script pad you just uh, need to write the school command and on the right side you can see is it uh, correct or not how you were whatever you're writing just uh, press the run button and then it will show you the the details of the command and some commands um, don't work here very less like this uh, this one but uh, most of the commands work here very fine suppose here that's how we created a table which name is student table and you can see that the table created is successfully and um, if we want to see the elements in the table, the total details of the table, so we are giving the command here and just press the run and you can see it's showing us uh, the, all the details whatever we have inputted there about the student ID then what uh, how many is it integer and also is showing this uh, we declared this as a primary key and all those details we can see from this table from the graphics view so i think that's a is a very nice and uh, handy software okay so we can check next